In this video, we're going to be learning how to grab, rotate, and scale your 3D designs here. Let's go ahead and make the first window up here larger. So to do that, just hit Control or Command Spacebar, and that will bring you into full screen mode. Go ahead and click on Suzanne and hit T on your keyboard. That'll bring up your tool panels there. And to the right, if you hit N for the information, you can see your information pop up right there. So to grab Suzanne here, you can just hit this tool and that will give this little up and down arrows which you can use to move the item around. But what I like to do is just hit G for grab and just grab Suzanne there and just start moving your mouse around. And that's how easy it is to grab your objects there. If you need to be a little bit more precise, you can simply just hit X on your keyboard or Y and that will slide on the Y axis or Z and that will slide on the Z axis. So say if I don't want any of those movements, I can hit escape or right click and that will undo that movement there. Next is the rotate tool. So the rotate tool is over here. You can grab these colored bars here, but what I usually do is just hit R on the keyboard for rotate. And now I can rotate in the X, the Y, or the Z directions. So that's very helpful as well. I can also type in a numeric dimension. So I could say rotate on the Z axis 45 degrees. And now he's looking more at us. Let's go ahead and undo that. And the third way to manipulate your design here is the scale. So you can grab the colored bars here, these colored blocks on the ends of this little colorful widget here. Or what I like to do is just hit S on the keyboard and then just start dragging your mouse. And that will let you kind of size things appropriately just by looking at it. Again, we'll undo. So those are the three ways to grab, rotate, and scale your design models. So again, that's just G for grab, S for scale, and R for rotate. Let's actually take a look at the scale of Suzanne here. If you look at the dimensions, she is scale unit of one, and the dimensions are 2.7 millimeters wide, by 1.7 millimeters thick and 1.87 millimeters tall. So that's itty bitty. That's smaller than the tip of your pinky finger. So let's go ahead and scale Suzanne up. So to do that, just hit S on your keyboard, scale her up until, let's just go until maybe the Z axis is somewhere a little larger. I'm just gonna keep scrolling, maybe somewhere in like 100. So keep going 100 millimeters right about there. There we go. And now hit just the period on your numpad. And you can see we've scaled up Suzanne to an actual 3D printable size in the real world. And you can make it any size you want. But do note that our scale unit has gone up 53 points here. So 53 times larger. And you want to keep this pretty much always at one. Just for some of the effects that you're going to use in Blender, it's good practice to keep these at one. And an easy way to fix that is just when you have your item selected, go to Object and Apply Rotation and Scale. And notice that it refixes that. We still have the same size we want, but our scale ratio is back down to one. So just keep that little tip in mind. You want to make sure your scale pretty much always stays in the one unit area there. So now that we've got Suzanne large enough to print, we're going to make some duplicates of her in the next video. Let's get started.